Hey guys, it's Simon Cornelius here with day two of the 90 day video challenge and day two of the 90 day game plan that I'm going to be laying out and actually going through day by day and sharing my results with all of you. So the very basis, the very foundation of the 90 day game plan is a thing called mindset. Mindset. Mindset is one of the most critical pieces of the entire game plan. Let me lay this out to you this way in a story. Remember the story of the rabbit and the tortoise, the race they had, and the, the rabbit went off like racing down the road and took a break. And meanwhile, the tortoise went down the road slowly and surely down the road. And then he, he ended up winning the race and the rabbit was just really upset because he was the fastest but he took a rest and, and well you know the story but in real life in our profession in network marketing and in internet marketing slow and steady does not win the race true or true in fact think of this like an airplane taking off you know you're in an airplane and let's imagine that the pilot sitting down in the, in, the, in the seat and puts the plane onto 10% throttle. 10%. I said, well, okay, um, I want to save some gas, you know, in this thing. And, and I don't want to go all out and strain the engines. I'll just put the, the throttle onto 10% and see what happens. Just moseying down the runway. Well, what's going to happen? You're going to end up in the trees at the end of the runway. Well, how about you try at 20% or maybe, you know what, what even 50%? 50% throttle, that should work, yes. Well, guess what's going to happen? You're still going to end up in the trees. You're just going to get there a little bit faster. So it's not 10% or 20 or 50 or 70 or even 80, probably not even 90%. You see, in order for a, for a plane to take off into the sky and get altitude, the throttle has to be pushed all the way up to 100%. You tear down the runway, you turn the flaps on the wings up, and, and you start taking off. Anything less is just crazy. But when you get up to the attitude, to the altitude of, say, 30,000 feet or wherever, it's okay to throttle back and then go on at 50% throttle or maybe go on autopilot for a while. Well, take that example and how does it apply to our type of business? It's because a lot of people take the approach, well, you know what, I, I think I'll just sponsor one person a week and I'll teach that person to sponsor one person a week and that person will sponsor one person a week and in about 15 years, I'll be at the top of my compensation plan. No sweat, slow and steady wins the race. Or how about this? You know, we, I'll go to every event and if you stay in your company for 10 years, you go to every single event, you will be at the top of the compensation plan. Well, that is absolute bollocks. It absolutely is because there's one crucial element in there one crucial element that's missing and it's called getting off of your butt and taking massive action. Get off of your bum and take some massive action because let's face it, no one's going to be successful overnight or even a year or two by taking no action. Your team is just going to die off before you have any momentum at all. So. If it's not a slow and steady wins the race, it has to be all out massive action for 90 days. Well, all out massive action. And you know when it's all out massive action because you have never felt this way before in your life. It's an incredible feeling you're getting results done. People are looking at you like you are completely off your rocker. And you said, yes, I am because I'm going out to get massive, massive results. So think about this for a while and 
you know slow and steady doesn't win the race. So your choice is either slow and steady, one, one choice, or all out massive action. So my question to you and my challenge to you is what's it going to be for you? Slow and steady because you can do that or all out massive action. And slow and steady will never get to the top. They'll end up being frustrated. They'll be ticked off. They'll bad mouth the company. Again, which one are you? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.